country singer Jason Aldean is getting backlash. Why is she talking like that? For the video of his song, Not in a Small Town, which critics are saying is racist. Got lyrics, racist lyrics, and images. Well, we have another. Whoopi talks a lot of shit in this segment that needs to be corrected. Like one, she gets the name of the song wrong. The correct title is Try That in a Small Town. Then she claims the song has racist lyrics, even though race is never mentioned and she doesn't give a single example. <laughs> Man. There are lyrics in the song and I think- I don't think any of you have even listened to the song. You know, he talks about life in a small town and it's different, you know, and he shows these images. He's got uh, folks, uh, from the Black Lives Matter movement. Well, we have another. At no time in this video is BLM mentioned, specified, or shown. He's talking about people taking care of each other, and I find it so interesting that it never occurred to Jason or the writers that that's what these folks were doing. They were taking care of the people in their town. It has been painful and difficult for Kenosha business owners and residents. Our Mary Jo Ola is live with a report on an already struggling neighborhood that was hit especially hard. Carol, we're in Kenosha's uptown neighborhood. One man describes it as the heart of the city's black community. The street, which was lined with businesses, now that you look at it today, they are all, nearly all of them, were reduced to rubble. People living in Kenosha woke up to a second day of destruction, this time centered around businesses in and around the uptown neighborhood there. Cleaning up this town of about 100,000 people at 23rd Avenue and 63rd Street, Marcus Starks works up the block. They're burning our city down, and why? Josh Ray and Lisa Davis had a view of the protests from their office, where they sell insurance and offer home health care. Four years later, business is still down by almost half. Straight mayhem out here. This is no longer peaceful protest. Since the unrest, Ferguson has added this call center and a Starbucks, but they're just off the highway and miles from the part of West Florissant that needs help. That that's what these folks were doing. They were taking care of the people in their town. You're a damaged goods lady. Taking care of the people in their town? Didn't they burn down those towns? And aren't those towns still not recovered? It really just drives me nuts how they conveniently excuse left-wing violence, rationalizing it as justified because of George Floyd, while completely ignoring the fact that most of these riots happened on the basis of police shootings that turned out to be justified. And just before we go any further, I think it does need to be explained that BLM and Antifa were regularly threatening suburbs and specifically white people in their homes who these groups literally threaten with violence because of their skin color. I thought of when I read that, read that was Ahmaud Arbery. I think of a black man in a small town in the South who literally just got shot for doing nothing wrong. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. You know, the thing about dog whistles is that the person that hears them can hear literally anything they want. How does your mind even go there? The song never even mentions race. It's about defending against violent leftist mobs that were incited by the likes of you. Another thing that needs to be pointed out is that most of the violence that was being done on behalf of BLM and Antifa was being done by white people, which is common knowledge on the right. But for years now, the state media has been trying to to push this idea the opposition to BLM and Antifa is based on the fact that people think they're black which is just not true I don't know of anybody who thinks that he has to understand that the big cities are supporting the small towns 70 blue counties are responsible for 70% of America's economy the big cities are really providing the things that you have in these small towns you should not be against big cities yeah. well, we have another oh my god are you serious Joy, do you have any idea where all that food in your bodegas comes from? Where exactly would cities be without that food? Why the hell are they attacking small towns in the first place? Because Jason Aladdin made a song about self-defense? Come to think of it, what is it with leftists and the Democrat party when it comes to self-defense? 
there's definitely been a push over the last few years to characterize self-defense as racist. Between their attacks on the First and Second Amendment, it's becoming very clear that they don't want you to have any means of defending yourself. My father's from Augusta, Georgia and Macon, Georgia. I both? spent many summers there. Yeah, both. I spent many summers uh -huh. there. It is one of the most racist places in this country. Uh -huh. We have another. <laughs> Are you serious? Hostin never presents any evidence to back up her claims. And the city has been a majority black for some time now. In the last census, black people were over 67% of the city. Yeah, the reality is literally the exact opposite. The stats don't lie. But that's exactly the job of these Orwellian communist hacks to create alternative realities to suit their political agenda. All right, folks, that's all I have for that one. Thanks for watching. As usual, if you enjoyed it, hit that like button, share, subscribe, and make sure to leave a comment. Have a great weekend.